What's up, motherfuckers? I'm Alfred. Sorry, that was that was a bit much. Um. Uh. I'm recording the. I'm recording this episode drunk. I'll be honest. Um. I'm not like blackout drunk. I've had a few drinks. Um. God. Hi, I'm Alfred. <laughs> I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. I'm going to be playing uh, FTL Faster Than Light, uh, which is the actual name of this game. It's kind of a DMC Devil May Cry thing where it is called FTL colon Faster Than Light. It is naturally a roguelike wherein instead of controlling one character as you go through a dungeon, you control an entire ship. I've got to fix the cushion on one moment. All right, and I'm going to turn this music down because it's blowing out my audio. All right, much better. Maybe a little more. Yeah. And then I'll turn my audio down. Okay. Um, This is, this is one of the best roll likes ever. I only am a goldfish. Uh, God, I have to remember the controls. Um, I haven't played uh, FTL on this PC. Or on the Steam account, rather. So I've only unlocked the, f the default ship and then the first one. I will just play with the default ship and I'll go on hard mode. I'll enable the advanced content. Yeah, sure. Why not? The data you carry is vital to the remaining Red Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Cloaking. Cloaking prevents enemies from firing on your ship or charging their weapons. Also increases your base evasion by 50. So, this is the ship. We have three crew people. Uh, Maloney, Cadriel, and Ares. These are all randomly generated. Um, Ares is in... What is it? The engine room? Um, nope, Ares is, in, Ares is in the weapons room. Cadriel's in the engine room and then this is the bridge this is the you know pilot place we've got our shield um it's kind of it's kind of a halo style shield the shield is here um our shield can take uh <laughs> can take hits and regenerate that's this big blue bubble around us but when the shield is down then our health starts going down we have to get repaired and that's not always a guarantee the engine is here the more gusto we give the engine, the more we have. The med bay is here. Um, med bay will heal dudes for free while it's on. Um, and then next to it is the shield room. And we have oxygen. You know, just an oxygen scrubber. And then we have the weapon system. So, we have a limited amount of power on the ship. I think it's shift. Oops, shift D. Right. So the, the ship can only put out so much power, which we can actually upgrade with our power bars. Now it costs scrap to do this. We have zero currently because we've just started playing. Everything costs X amount of whatever to run. We don't need the med bay now. So what we're actually gonna do is turn off the med bay. So this is now an unpowered room and we have the Artemis, which is our missile full and ready to go. And then we have the burst laser full and ready to go as well. Missiles are here. This actually requires missiles to launch. So what I'm going to do is rearrange these. Because if nothing else, I want the laser to be first because the laser is actually free. Um, whereas the missile is not. So you can see our weapon systems here. And then the other thing is this. This is the sensor bay. It allows us to get a read on what's going on inside the ship while someone is not physically present in a room. Um, this is very useful and you only notice that it's not there when it, you only hurt when it's not there. Uh, this is, what is this? No, this is the sensor room. This is the door control. And then this is the piloting. So these don't cost energy. They're just always on, but they can still be upgraded. And every room in here can be damaged on its own. There's a lot of subsystem damage. Um, but a well, uh, a well oiled ship. Well, I suppose oil isn't the thing. But a fully functioning ship looks like this. Everything 
can be powered or depowered as you want. Everything can be used or accessed, and you can send people to places. So if I send this guy here, he will heal. However, he's at full health, so it doesn't matter. You can see there that this is now manned or personed, if you prefer. So having people in an area will give a uh, buff to it. Yeah, manned, 10% faster charge. Manned, uh, dodge 10, FTL, 1.25%. Uh, what does man do for this one? I'll just send Cadrail over there. Man makes this 10% faster recharge. Okay. So yeah, very, very simple to pick up. Um, you're on a spaceship. Every room is its own thing. Every single, you know, room can be used by someone. You've got your shield. And it's a roguelike. So we're uh, fighting a resistance, a rebellion. We've got stuff on our ship that the rebellion needs. We're going to get this ship to them. So this is uh, Arm of the Galaxy. So we're going to FTL jump to here. Before we even do anything, you can see here that it burned one of our fuels. So... All of these are limited. We haven't gotten into these yet, but we will get into them either later or after I die. Uh, every location on the map is randomly generated and has its own thing. So let's get into this. Your scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet long since abandoned. No life signs detected. So that was nothing. Completely null jump. We got nothing out of it. So we're going to jump here. I'm avoiding the store because we have no money. <laughs> Pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. Appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency works on military ships. Um, they offer to upgrade our reactor for some scrap. We don't actually have any scrap. And we can also upgrade the reactor on our own. So, this is the Rebellion. It's a massive, massive fleet of ships. Um, after this point, the game gets much harder when you're in there they're chasing you we're trying to outrun them you know cat and mouse thing spot a small rebel ship nearby been refitted for transport rather than combat doesn't want to engage you and your ship let's fight him so this is the rebels this is the primary enemy in the game prepare to secure the cargo by force they don't want to fight they're charging they're trying to escape so what we're going to do is charge this up and we're going to try to take down their piloting and their FTL drive, their engine. Because it'll stop them from being able to fly away. Now, the thing that's attacking us is a drone. Which we have now disabled. The next thing that's causing us trouble is the shield generator. Because it's stopping us from being able to hit them. So, we'll take down the shield generator. And then we'll take out their weapons, but that actually uh, does enough damage to hurt them. And they're taken down. Search the ship, discover its cargo as new military-grade weaponry. Somehow in damage in the fight can be easily mounted to the ship. So we got 18 scrap and stun bomb. So, stun bomb, automatically equipped. Self-teleporting explosive does one ion damage and stuns all crew on the side of the room. Can target your own ship. So we don't actually have enough ability to get this going. If we were to switch these two around, we would. Which I might actually do. Um, there's multiple damage types. Ion is one of them, naturally. Let me see. Is there anything else I've missed explaining? Um, so missiles and so missiles go through your shield and hit the ship. Um, and while our shield was down, lasers hit us. Uh, because of that, our rooms took damage, which damaged our whole integrity, but it also damaged the room itself. Now, the room can catch on fire or can be hurt in other ways, um, which requires me to pull crew members off to go repair it. However, if the room is on fire, you can actually do this. You can open the doors and the oxygen will drain out of the room. Now, it drains very quickly in a small room like this, but for a larger one, it takes more time. Um, which is very, which can actually be very useful. And then closing the door... 
means that the room will slowly fill back up with oxygen. So this is a way to extinguish fires, because um, obviously fire needs oxygen to exist, which will stop your rooms from taking constant damage and also make it so you don't suffer from... Uh, you don't have the risk of letting your teammates and crew members get burned alive. Also, if your ship is boarded, which is a problem later on, usually later on, uh, you can actually suck the air out of the room to stop to uh, associate the attackers. The drone was left here because the ship got blown up and nobody retrieved it. We can't do anything with it, though. So we're just going to jump on to... I'll go to a nebula just for the sake of showing it. I hate nebulas. Hard to see why, but the beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships of the small station is offering a deal. Um, six fuel for two missiles. I don't care. So in nebulas, our sensors are disabled and we cannot see the inside of other rooms, as you can see here. We do not have access to the insides of these rooms. So while I'm here, time is essentially stopped. I can just freely continue to look at, an at anything. But yes, I don't like nebulas for that reason. Um, I hate not being able to see what's going on with my ship. So we'll jump to the next one. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. Looks like it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Distress beacon is active, but you're not sure as anyone is on board. Communication seems to be dead. We'll board and investigate. Oh boy. As you approach the ship, the other ship's transporters suddenly power up and your deck swarm with now cannibalistic refugees. Driven mad by the lack of food, try to feeding on each other and your crew's next. Well, great. So let's just... Uh, let's just suck all the air out. Maybe that'll work. Doesn't look like it. This could be trouble. This could be a lot of trouble. Well, Cadriel's dead. Maloney is quick after them. Well. All right, let's just go right back in. Tip, bomb weapons. Bombs teleport directly onto either ship. They bypass shields and defense drones. They only affect crews and systems and do no damage to the hull. Okay. So, we've started over like nothing happened. Although I do have to switch these around again. Um, Distress Beacon. Maybe this one will go better. So the game actually ends up almost being more like... Uh, almost like an Oregon Trail as well. Because you have to schlep your, your ship across the galaxy. In, and and randomly across, along the way, you will run into other things. So it's a very, very interesting, well done experience. This, I, I'm, I'm just going to go right out and say it. This is straight up one of my favorite roguelikes of all times. This is one of the, I'm going to say it as well. This is one of the best roguelikes of all times. It is very, very solid. It's very, very fun. And it comes highly recommended. Possibly more highly recommended than any other roguelike on the show I've featured yeah, possibly more than any other roguelike. Just because it is just that solid, you know? I I really, really, really enjoy this game. Um, But enough gushing for now. We will take these people to their destination. They have... Uh, I think they've essentially lost their map. I forgot what they said already. So we will drag them here. Oh dear. So let me finish what I was saying about them. So um, the risk of that is you will have to go off your course for a little bit. But the upside is that they'll give you shit for it as long as you get them there. And in this case, it's actually on the way. So I don't mind it. Um, I'll miss out on the shop, but I only have eight scrap to get to it with. And there will be more shops. So, you know. Um... Beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant, supergiant class M star. Ship will gradually overheat to get out of here or die. A pirate, oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. So this is a pirate ship. They are not aligned with us or the rebels. Um, pirate ships are just chaotic evil ships that are everywhere. Almost more chaotic neutral. Um, they're usually trying to pirate you, you know, shit like that. However, um... 
in this case, they're going to fight us. However, they've uh, neglected to notice the giant fucking star back here. So let's power up the laser. Um, and let's just get mean. Let's just shoot for the oxygen. Because, oop, they missed us. Nice. Because, yes. Oh, took a point of damage. You can see that our health went down by one there. By two there. Well, they hit our oxygen. So now we're both asphyxiating. Which means I've got to pull Kadriel out of here. Oh, boy. And there goes the sun. Enemy ship tries to power up its FTL, trying to escape. Uh, it's not going to happen on my watch. I've already shot at their... Um... Oh, God. Okay, cool. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useless scrap. So, we've got to... We've got to get our oxygen fixed pretty damn fast. You can see we're already at 46%. Um, and Kedriel actually died because he asphyxiated in this room. Ah! Well, that's not good. I'll be right back. All right. So I've said it's easy and I've turned off the extra content. Um, I renamed this guy Schwimmen, but this guy was already named Magmar and this guy was already named Mort Raven. Uh, so, you know, we're just going to roll with that. So font size, we can change the font size, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. Let's power this up. And let's depower the med bay and extra power the engine. So the engine will allow us to dodge better, so we'll be a little more defensive. Again, still can't get at that store. But one usually spawns very early on. Actually, we've spawned with 30 scrap because we're in easy mode. <laughs> All right. Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message resisting our takeover. is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. So this is a small rebel ship. Very, very low health. Um, and it doesn't even appear to have a shield. It's an auto scout, so it's just essentially the the weakest enemy type. Yeah, it's just a regular old ship. So I'm going to missile its weapon systems because the weapons are really the only thing it can do to us. It won't boost out of here. Much better. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. So yes, as you can see there, easy mode is naturally much easier. We didn't take a hit. We got more scrap. Let's continue on. So the exit is um, almost in the middle of the galaxy, which usually isn't uh, what normally happens. Still going to have to make a couple jumps to get there. Oh dear. Pirate ship is lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Let's turn and fight. So we can actually pause and uh, figure out our next plan. Um, things activate whenever they're charged, so it works like a uh, kind of like a Chrono Trigger or a, one of the middle Final Fantasies. So this is a, a, a full ship, and again, it's a pirate, so it doesn't have much cohesion in its design other than being chaotic. Um, so we're going to take out the weapon systems first. Yeah, because the asteroid field is another stage hazard. So the shield, we're not actually going to have to worry about. We're more going to have to worry about our shield. So I'm just going to double down on that. So yeah, you can see that asteroids are constantly taking out our shields. As well as hitting us. You can see their ship has caught fire now. So, there's a little fire here because it's so deep in the ship, it's hard to vent oxygen out quick enough. Mort took some damage, but he got the fire out and then is back to repairing this. So, I can actually...
What does this do? Yeah, so someone being here gives us more evasion. But if I pull him off and send him there, he will go man shields, which will give us more recharge, which is useful in this area. Because taking hits is nearly unavoidable because there's just so much of it. Whereas taking hits with a shield is much less of a problem. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. So I'm gonna get we're gonna have to get the hell out of here real quick. Um I'm gonna power that back up, and I'm gonna send more over there. And then we just have to wait for the engines to kick back in overdrive. And we can get the hell out of here. Now, it was actually somewhat dangerous for me to uh, leave people where they were because we might have needed more to get back to weapons right away. However, um, in an asteroid field, it is just the most fortuitous to get the hell out of there. Just get the, get the straight fuck out of there. All right. Since they're picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel, you eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. We're going to aid the ship because we're good, guys. Prep your weapons. Prepare to engage. Okay. Mort has to get back to here. We don't need this for now, so we will depower it, and we will... Oh, right. Shift D. I've been hitting control. Excuse me. Uh, I am a little tipsy. Um, and then we've sent Mort there. Okay. So, they have a drone station. But I don't actually see a drone attacking us. Um, not every ship has a drone by default. Um, some of them come with it standard, but a drone is essentially just a little option that you can have. Um, an option in the sense that a, uh, uh, a Gladius option is. A little thing that floats next to your ship and helps you out. It can either go attack the enemy or go defend you or a couple other things, but they require this to be fueled. So I don't see anyone yet, so I'm going to focus on weapons. Um, yeah, I'm going to double down on weapons again. So, now that he's there, our charge goes up. We're a little quicker. So, if I wanted to, I could also dump power out of oxygen. Very nice. So, it, their laser hit our shield, took the shield down. We took a little damage from the last one, but we didn't actually take one from this. And we took their weapons out right away. So, now they can't attack us until those weapons are back up. So, what we're going to have to do is shoot their shield to make sure that the shield keeps going down. Otherwise, it'll just take a hit for free. You can see that when we hit it, it goes down. This bubble goes empty. Oh, never mind. So, when uh, when you have a missile, missiles penetrate whatever they go through. Their shield is currently down, and they only have one hit point left, so I'm just going to attack whatever, and I'm going to save the missiles. So they've got a very slow laser. There you go. They've got a slow laser, so I didn't feel too worried about it. Because I did want to save the missiles as well. With the ship destroyed, you quickly collect useful resources. So we got a lot of scrap. We got two missiles, and we got a drone part. Fed ship. Uh, ship looks to be on the verge of destruction. Life signs are fitting quickly. Let's rescue them. Despite your efforts, majority don't survive. Sole Survivor offers to join your crew and helps you strip the now derelict ship of useful components. So, ship was breaking down. Nothing we could do for that ship, but there's good shit on it. So, we looted it, and we got a new guy. Stick. Stick is not human. Um, yeah, he's a rockman. Rockmen of Vrekos 4 are rarely seen and are known for their fortitude. So, he's immune to fire. He's slow, but he's really tough. Um... I don't notice any big difference in his skills. But what this means is we can now have someone manning in the game's nomenclature manning, but really personing. We can have them personing all of the stations. So we have someone piloting, we have someone on weapons, we have someone on shields and engines. So now um, we're operating at mm, pretty much full capacity. Usually uh, you Usually you only start with three members of a ship. However, in this case, because we got another guy, we can now operate at full capacity. So, let's jump out of here. Um, let's just head for the exit. 
right over the next long range beacon. FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. So after, so my first time playing this game, little story time here. My first time playing this game, I was like, wow, what a long and arduous quest because I had gotten through like, I was playing on normal. I had gotten in like 14 fights on the way there. Um, and I was like, what an arduous quest, but it's finally over. I can finally go. Oh, held by a mobile docking platform. Um, upgrade your door system for some scrap. Sure. Team on board, and they finish their work. So our doors are actually now up by one. For a lot cheaper than they normally would have been. Which is... Chef's kiss, that's great. That's great. So now we've got blast doors. So anyway. I was like, wow, I finally made it. Oh. See, so yeah, every, so every single one, so this map, this is a whole sector. Every single one of these is a sector. So we can either go to the rock controlled sector, which is kind of hostile to us. However, we have a rock on board. I don't know if that actually matters, but. Or we can go to one that's easy. But you also have to consider, if we go this way, we will go through some nebulas or through another hostile sector. Whereas with this one, we'll have the choice between a hostile sector and another nice one, and then a nice one, and then the choice between a nice one and a hostile one, and then pretty much all hostiles, besides this one. Um, I'm gonna go here. I believe Zoltan are a mercantile race. Zoltan territory, not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be sure a fair hearing. So yeah, they're, they're a merchant race. So yeah, um, we have an entirely new map now. Again, this is uh, randomly generated. And as I already mentioned, kind of a hybrid fusion of a roguelike um, and a caravan game like the Oregon Trail or something. So we're going to go to the Distress Beacon because we're nice guys. We're going to help these people out. Find a ship floating among some debris. Our impulse drives are shot. We can't jump. Can you give us some fuel? Uh, yes. You give them the fuel. Have some extra scrap as payment. You know what? I'll take it. I will take that. That's very, very nice of you. Um, so let's see if we can upgrade the pirate killer. So upgrading all of these will do something, obviously. Upgrading power, which I think I will do right now, will allow us to have everything on the ship powered at once. Because right now, to have weapons at full power, we have to have the men bay unpowered. If we had more weapons, we could... We would have to either upgrade this or take some of these out. So, for instance, we would just have to put something in front of the Artemis, and we wouldn't be able to use the Artemis if we had something else there. But if we ever want to use um, multiple weapons at once, we will have to upgrade this. And then naturally, it will also need power. Um, med bay will just heal people quicker. This will just improve the rate of how oxygen is distributed. Engines will increase dodge. Um, they also give you a better chance to run away. I don't run away in this game. I've decided to not to. And then shields are shields. But as you can see, they actually only have one every other. So we're going to get two and we're going to have another shield barrier there. So now we have everything fully powered and we're good to jump to the next one. And hey, it's a store. So normally you would wait until after the store to spend some scrap on your ship because you might have something that you really want here. However, I had a lot. So I decided to do it just for the sake of showing you. Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knickknack shop. Why not take a look? So they've got some drones here. And a drone control. So this is this essentially fills up one of your empty rooms. This this fills up one of your empty rooms with another room. It's the drone control station. And it allows you to naturally control drones. Um, I don't have too too much use for drones so far. So I don't feel like I need them. Um, I will be using them in the next attempt. And then So we can also sell our shit to them. We have very little. 
So what we'll do is we'll just stock up here. Get some of that. Um, and then we'll fix the hole. We're down to 60 scrap, but we're at full health and we've got 10. We've got all their fuel. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. So while we're here, let's upgrade those by two and then we can put more into the shield. And now you can see we have two shield bubble. So we can take two hits. Which is absolutely what we want. It's very, very useful. Jump in time to witness a Zoltan ship FTL try overload. In the final moments, the employee not get involved, but it's too late. Their attacker's already upon you. So we saw another ship get bodied. Or no, we saw another ship run away. Because these guys were on him. So same as last time. Let's take out the weapons. We are the pirate killer. So what I believe they hit us there with was Ion. Which is, I believe it works like EMP. So, as you can see there, our missile um, took out their shield from full health. And then their... And then our laser took out their half health uh, weapon system. So they're kind of out of options. So what they're doing is they're just surrendering to us. They will give us five fuel, two drone parts, and 15 scrap. If we accept. Which we won't. I feel very confident in being able to kill them, considering they've got two hit points left and their shield is down. So, what you really want is you want to get a better... You want to get more loot off of them than they offer to you. And... Eh, we got more scrap. But that's okay. You know... I am I am a hundred percent okay with wasting a little stuff to kill some pirates. Sorry, taking a drink there. You arrived to find a lumbering Zoltan Fredo known at the helm. Mystery what happened to the crew, but it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. Okay. So we got to the distress speaking a little late there. Um in story we got to it late. And we got some stuff that we could loot. So let's see if we can upgrade the good old pirate killer a little more. It would take a hundred scrap to get us to a third shield barrier. And we don't have any more weapon systems. So let's upgrade the engines. As you can see here, it'll give us more dodge if we do this. And it'll also make the FTL charge quicker. I'll stick with that. So now our dodge chance is now 15 instead of 10. Which I think it's pretty solid. Let's look at the other store just to see what they're going with. Manus crew has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long dead space whale for them to operate their black market without detection. Worth a look? Sure. Ooh. Excuse me. So... Got a new laser. Two new lasers, in fact. And then we've got crew members. We would get 19 for selling that. Which would push us to 62. Which would not be enough for a new weapon. And I don't really feel comfortable with only adventuring with one weapon. We could sell a little bit more and get some of these but we already have four crew members now granted i love having as many crew members as you can muster but i will just buy all the fuel Oops. this one upgrade the reactor once more and now we can fuel the engines so again that's why you usually wait until after you get to a store however um i i am perfectly fine with that Pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please. You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. So the Mantis are a sh uh, race of bunk people. Naturally. Um, they gotta go. They gotta go. Let's missile the shields. Let's laser the weapon systems. Nice. 
So their shields are down, and they cannot get through ours. They're fixing their shields, as you can see there. But too little, too late. Uh, they believe they leave behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. So we got some fuel, a missile. So we got one of our missiles back. And we got a lot of scrap, so that's good. I feel very good about the ship. Let's get the hell out of here. Long Range Beacon. Ooh. You come across an asteroid mining colony. Message you immediately saying greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any astro explosives? Uh, let's give them five. They upgraded our reactor by one. Very nice. Look at that. Look at that. Um. So, one point of reactor isn't too, too useful, but that's okay. Um, so, pirate control is chaotic, um, unmotivated, unbalanced. Not too much to worry about, but let's just go to a civvy sector. Because it'll be dangerous, but at least useful. But, naturally, this is a roguelike. There are as something of an unstable equilibrium going on. Wherein... Harder enemies will give you better loot because they have better shit. Let's hail them. Kind of a refugee ship drifting in space. Looks like it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Distress beacons active, but you're not sure anyone's on board. Let's hail them. As you hail them, advances, weapons bristling from the hole. It's a pirate ambush. Well, we fell for it. Guess we'll have to murder them all. It's a pirate rigger. Oh dear. So they've sent a little drone here, a border drone, which is to say a drone that boards you. So we'll need to shoot them. We need Magmar the hell out of there. We won't accept surrender. You get in there. And Mort, get out. So, stick being stick. Okay. Once full health, you get back to weapons. Stick being stick, he'll be able to tango with this border drone for a little bit longer because he's got more health. And also, their uh, their thing is now actually down. Hmm, that's not good. Ship explodes, leaving behind some good shit. So, stick's very, very harmed. Oh, get the hell out. Oh, my God. Well, that's not good for a lot of reasons. Yeah, that's real not good. Okay. It looks like the, yes, the oxygen is restoring to normal qualities. Ooh, okay. It's really unfortunate we lost Stick. He just, he just taken too much damage and then the association got to him too quick. All right, swim. Back to there. Back to there. You're up to full. You get back to there. That really sucks. Naturally, you get nothing whenever your party members are taken down. So, I'll save it. We might get more weapons. Actually, let's head up and make our way to that store. God, we lost stick. Sorry, sir. Nothing personal, but we're under orders. Nuremberg Defensa. Ship's weapons go hot. And they've got a drone. So, drones are essentially an extra gun. Which is a problem. So we're going to focus on their drone with our laser. And we're going to take out their weapon systems with our missiles. Because as you can see, the drone actually fires very quickly, although it's very weak. It's a one damage laser um, every time it shoots. It can't, get through the it can't get through the shield, but it will be a problem if we can't uh, get it off our back enough because it'll eventually 
eventually they will eat through all of our shields. I decided to uh, avoid that because this is already nearly dead. They've got the drone up and running again, but their weapons are down, so I'm not too worried about it. We're not going to accept surrender. We've taken down their shields, which are being repaired. We took down their weapons, but those are now fixed. Their engine is dead. And there goes their health. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Not going to fly. So, the Artemis is unpowered because it ran out of missiles. We can power it again, but I'll save it because we, uh, we're about to get some good stuff going. They have some valuable shit. Ooh, we've got new stuff. Drake, Hazar, and Emily, a human. Ooh, evasion plus seven when piloting. You're hired. Grab some of those. Yeah, let's just let's not run out of fuel, you know? Let's just ensure that. Um Why not? Okay. Uh Emily. So Emily has a bunch of evasion one piloting. So she's gonna pilot now. And then Kazar has evasion win on engines. So you're going to get to the engines now. Which means that you're going to go to shields and you're going to go here. So yes, as you can see, everyone has their own stats. Um, yeah, because Shuim has been piloting, he has uh, a bunch of stats for when he's piloting, but not too big a deal. Magmar has a little bit for weapons and Mort has a bunch for weapons. So is Mort on weapons? More does not on weapons. You get there. You get there. Okay, cool. So you can see now this is manned. We have plus one system level. So we essentially have an extra thing for it. We've spent all our scrap, but we have a very kitted out ship now, which I feel good about. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Oh, fuck. Asteroid belt. Rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for a fight. It's automated, so it actually doesn't have any oxygen, as you can see. Normally, we wouldn't be able to see that, but because we have someone on the sensors, we can actually see the sensors better. Actually, wait. Let's take down the weapon systems. Oh, well, never mind. So, yeah, having more shields is helping us when it comes to... Nice. Having more shields is helping us when it comes to handling um, asteroids, because if they hit us, they'll only hit a shield. And then we have another one in case we get hit again, but it's still pretty risky. And I want to get the hell out of here. All right. Let's aid the Federation ship. So, Rebel ship. Hating on uh, Fed ship. Or for the Feds, we don't like Rebs. So, now that we actually have... Excuse me, I got hiccups. Now that we actually have someone on the uh, viewing subsystem, we can see that they have three crew members. So we can actually attack them directly. Well, we know where they are. We can kind of try to attack them. So let's use our missiles. Let's power up the Artemis. Let's take down their weapons because we have a joy to deal with, or drone rather. And they have a drone as well. So actually let's take care of the drone. And then let's get their shields down. They only have one, but I still want to get it off of me. And then after that, their weapon systems. It looks like they have uh, some pretty sizable stuff. Damn. Let's get their weapons down then. And the shields. So again, we're missing because they've got... They must have someone really good on the... Uh, evasions. Piloting it, I mean. So the second that they get hit, this repair drone goes right into action.
We haven't taken a hit to us yet. We've been keeping them on their toes too much. Let's get this guy down. He's dodging too much. There we go. All right. We got two missiles back. We got some fuel. We got a bunch of scrap. Try to rescue the crew. We got, yes. Soul Survivor hopes to join your crew. So we've got uh, a new new guy now. Chris, another rock by the looks of it. Yep. He has no stats, which is fine. Um... Let's put him on doors. So again, um, essentially plus one system level. So we got a blast door improvement essentially for free earlier on. And then we got Chris on it. So now we essentially have maxed out doors because they only go up to three. <laughs> um, and then you can get a upgrade later that gives you super blast doors, but not really available for us in the traditional sense. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, the one thing that I want to be wary of is I don't want to get too cocky because that's the main issue. I can, because I have so many people, I will get too cocky and then somehow manage to have a worse time than if I only had a few people. So let's kick in an overdrive. Let's get to the next sector. We will be going for the civvy sector again because I'm playing it safe, which is why I'm playing on easy. Um, let's explore the asteroid belt. Abandoned mining site, few mining zones left behind could be repurposed. Wow, that's a lot of scrap. So you can see we only have room for eight people on this ship. Still only have the default weapons for the Kestrel. Uh, let's power... Yeah, let's power this again. Um... Wow, we're doing really good. Which makes me worry. NG control. NG is short for engineer. It is a another not exactly mercantile race, but they are arrived in NG space. Man has been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. So if I remember correctly, as far as I know, the first and last, the entrance and exit of a sector are always safe. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message for a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Go to hell. Too bad you'll regret the decision. I doubt it. Ooh. So those appear to be NGs in there. Um, NGs repair stuff quicker, but I believe they are slower and have less health. Block. Davion. Artyom. Um... Let's remove their ability to dodge. To defend themselves, really. We've got to watch. We've got to babysit Mort. Mort, get out of there. Okay. Border drone is down to two-thirds health. Quiz is not quite there yet. Actually, we're going to handle this drone. So let's get rid of that. Here's the border drone. Oop, get out of there. Because no one's on our weapon systems and it's currently being occupied, we're in a little danger there. But no one's on their shields. Let's see if we can take that down. Mort, get it back in there. Mort's health will drain precipitously, as you can see here, because of uh, the oxygen content in the room being very low. So let's get Magmar in there. And then Kozar, you should... He's taking a hit because of that. Interesting. That's not good. You gotta go fix the oxygen right quick. You're back up to full. Get back in there. So that slow walk speed is what killed your predecessor, I imagine. 
Now get out of there. Mort, you're at full. Get back in. I've got to remember to... I've got to remember to use everyone. Ooh, a whole repair drone. One, one, and 24 and a whole repair drone. Sorry, but uh, honor before reason. Oh, get out of there. Okay, they're dead. 47. No repair drone, but that's okay. Health is draining. Get out of there. It's normalized. The pressure in there is normalized. Good, 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 good. Emily, you need some time in there. Oh, boy. This segment's been going on uh, quite a bit, although I don't think I'm going to cut it. Um, yeah, what, what if this is just one long attempt? Who's good at what? Magmar is on shields. Kozar needs to go back to the engine. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to cut it. And you know what? I'm going to do... This is going to be two parts. Um, just because I like this game that much. This is that good of a game. All right. I think everyone's up to full. Cool. Um, let's get you back to the doors. Let's close these, close these for safety. Um, because we have blast doors, I don't think enemies can go through them without me wanting them to, which is pretty solid. Wow, that was the first one. Uh, let's go this. We've got lots of fuel. Black market here. Dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we will pay for them. So, one missile for three scrap. We don't have any missiles. But we do have a store coming up. Your scrap ours, our weapon for you. About to raise the shields when you realize it's an NG trader looking for a trade. With the bad English. So. Hmm. Drone control, so we could get that. Cloaking. Um, cloak is kind of like another it's 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 invisibility it makes it harder for them to see you and they actually have two pages oh so ng unclear if the ng are purely organic or entirely mechanical but it's well known they make exceptional engineers so they are not good at combat they are amazing at repairing and this one is really good at manning engines we've also got the pegasus um which is missiles Smart bomb, small bomb, also requires missiles, and anti-bio beam. Does no physical damage, but rips through organic materials, dealing heavy damage to crew members. Interesting, but I do not think I'll have a use for it. Hmm. I've already got a good pilot, and I could just get repair from this guy. Not to mention, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to repair myself. I'm going to get one of those just because. Ariel is good at engines. So let's get you to engines. How's Kozar at engines? Very good, actually. I don't know if it'll do anything to have both of them there. In fact, it likely won't. Wow. Got so many people on the ship. Let's upgrade ourselves then. Got another bar of shield ready to go. And now, 
fully powered, we've got three shields. That's really good. That's so good. Oh, man. I feel really good about this. Uh, no joke. <laughs> this is my best attempt so, uh, so far. On this current PC, at least. Smoldering NG wreckage station. Distress call unanswered. Attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone listed alive or something else of value on board. Wait team reports a wounded NG and a functioning drone schematic. Someone yells the station reactor is overloading and they're running out of time. Crew turns safely to the airlock with the injured NG and you put some distance on the station before it blows. NG, impressed by your crew, offers to join you. We've got Scoops now. What do you say, Scoops? They're a great pilot, so you can actually stay there. Well, we've got a full complement of people. That's awesome. And now everything's fully powered. Of course, I could have just drained the med bay, but considering how many people we have, we've got to be pretty smart about it. Let's break on through to the other side. So the one thing about having this many people... Oxygen system for scrap. We have no scrap. Sorry. One thing about having this many people is that we can't take on anyone new, but we don't have any reason to. Um, let's go to the engine controlled area. I just want to play it safe some more. NG space. Same as the last time. Don't need the store yet because we don't have any scrap. Forward scout of the rebel fleet. Pairing up the FTL. If they get away, they'll warn the fleet of your position. That's bad. So, um, I believe that will make it so the enemies will get here quicker. Um, no one's on that. So let's just burn that as quick as we can. Okay. So, now we get to do this. We'll suck the O2 out. To depressurize it. Oh man, that's not good. You need to get here so we can have you repair it. And then we've got to get, we've got to, we've got to, got to get them off. We've got, we've got to stop them from getting away. Jump imminent. Oh man. Fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. There you go. Got to get away as quick as possible. Well, let's shut these. We burned all our shit on that. Damn it. Damn it. Ugh. Okay. We got nothing out of it as well. Oh, God. It's so far away. We actually can't even... This is bad. This is real bad. Owen, Jeff Bars, and Owen. Well, let's let's get another point of uh, repair in here. Wow, they've got some good shit too. So you can see that we're in the danger zone right now because the fleet's here. Ooh, more took some damage. Uh, you find an abandoned mining station. Quick stand shows no life forms, but a usable drone schematic. Interesting. Mort, go here. And then back. So, drones go here, naturally. We actually can't use it, though, because we don't have anything. Defense drone will keep shit away from us, though, which is pretty useful. However, as I said... We need to upgrade the ship some more to use the thing. And it'll also cost these to use it. Manus vessel flashes past your view screen. Weapons and engines at full. Tiny blip on the sensor. Readout marks its quarry. Let's aid the civilian ship. Found, power up the weapons, and prepare to engage the Manus ship. Not today. Um, We've only got one missile, so let's make sure it counts. Weapons... CY Hang, Johnson, and Starger. 
Oh, they've got a they've got a teleporting bay. So they could actually teleport onto our ship. Yep, there you go. Wait, you're not good at combat. You are. And then you. So if I wanted to, I could actually just suck the air out, but this is quicker. Get out of there, Mort. So it was very risky for them to bring someone onto the ship, and it did not pay off. It looks like they mostly rely on that. Let's try this just to just to show it. So as you can see, he can't get through there because I have the blast doors. And now he's just gonna asphyxiate. Well, he's finally gotten in, but still gonna asphyxiate. But you know what? Let's just make it. Let's just. Yeah, let's just do that. Because again, it is just kind of quicker. So it's very, very fortuitous to fight people in here. Because it's the med bay. We will regenerate health, but they won't. Doesn't look like they can get through our uh, shields very well. But we can definitely get through theirs. Because the burst laser fires more than once, it'll burn through their two shields pretty quick. And then the last hit will most likely... Uh, yep, there you go. So because they've got NGs, they're able to repair things pretty quickly. But it looks like they don't actually have a med bay. Whatever hits them next will kill them. But unfortunately, we missed, so... Yeah, we just got to whittle through their defenses. Man, they've got a lot of defenses. So, mantises are space, like, praying mantises. Man, ship breaks apart. We got a bunch of shit. Contact them. Crew didn't survive. You take what you can. Wow. That's pretty good. Another distress beacon. Let's go help them out. Uh, NG ship under attack from a rebel fighter, but when they see fed markings, they turn to attack. All right, so who's on here? Jack, Joel, Caldwell, and Phillips. They've got a boarding station. Um, and they've got two bubbles of shield. So let's laser that and let's missile that. And then let's open these. There they go. Well, that didn't go as planned. So all these stations are going to be unmanned now, which is a little unfortunate. Very good, though. That's very good. Their shield's down to one, as you can see. We've damaged it to the point where they only have one bubble of shield left. Schwim's hurt. Emily's fine. You can get right back. Grizz is hurt. Very, very good use of the missile. Ooh, that's not good. Um, Scoops, you're an engineer. Get there. Help them repair it. Good, there we go. Their shield's down, so we're going to work on the weapons next. Scoops, you can get back to your post. Chris is at full health now. Shrooms at full health. You can get back to there. Scoops, get back to repairing. Yeah, being able to, to just deploy Scoops so she can go fix shit is very, very useful. Pick up the bones of the ship and wait for the engine ship to catch up. Uh, they're poorly equipped, barely a runabout, really. A runabout? I'll steal it! No one will ever know! Excuse me. Try to outrun the rebels and need all the help that they can get. Sure. Need equals fulfilled. You take it for gratitude. Take the next jump and then long journey home. 
Uh, that one kind of hurts. It was the right thing to do. But the store is right there. Let's see if we can get a drone. Our scrap. Okay. Drone control. There it is. We've got two pages. The Hermes. Another missile launcher. And the hole laser. Ooh. I don't know. I totally don't know. Because both of these cost 75, and both of them will also require other things to... Damn it. Actually, you know what? Yep. <sighs> Reverse ion field. Hmm. So we haven't run into ion damage, but this is very useful. We don't have a stealth. Getting more scrap is good. But it'll take at least 50 extra scrap for that to be worth it. We don't actually have enough as it is. So let's get missiles. Let's get fuel. And that's actually more important than the Artemis. Because... Ooh, boy. Let's do this, actually. Eh, well. So because we have this, which requires full... Three, rather. We will need to upgrade this by three until we can use all of them effectively. Unless we do this. There we go. So now only this does. Three shots per charge. Double damage on systemless rooms. Whereas this one does normal damage. This one also causes breach, which will suck oxygen out. However, not actually too useful. It is very, very good to have more attack. However, we will put it at the bottom there. So we can eventually work our way up into having it. Yeah, I feel good about that. All right. Another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location. A number of civilian ships are waiting inspection. Any of them could be federal loyalists. They haven't noticed you yet. Um, let's fight them. Okay. They've got two shields. But a couple of weapons. So let's take out the weapon system and let's burn the shields. Having three shields is really good. I've never been this defended. There go the weapon systems, and there go that shield. So if we can get the shields down before they can repair them, then we'll... Oh, well, they got them repaired. Oop, it's burning. So the good thing about um, fire is that it'll hurt anyone on the sh anyone standing in it, as it normally does, you know? And yeah, because they're focusing so hard on repairing it, they actually are not able to shoot at us very well. Let's get that down. There we go. Oni, huh? So yeah, he's very hurt. So let's just focus on the med bay because if they can't get if they can't get healed, then they'll just stay hurt. Considerably more well armed than I would have thought. We surrender. Six, two, and twenty-five. Nap. <laughs> Suckers. So three instead of six. We still got the two, and we got forty-two. Hell yeah. Let's throw that right in there. And then let's rearrange this so this is now the last. So now we have the whole laser one going first, and then we have the Artemis going next. If we wanted to power the right, because we only have so much power on the ship. Right, 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 right. Oh, let's go see the distress beacon. 
Knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. Decoy for a pirate ambush. You guys just fucked up, you know. I've got a new toy that I am aching to try out. Oh, uh-oh. You get out of there, you get in there. You get in there, you need more. Oh dear. You get up there, you're at full. Oh boy. This isn't going so hot. Oh geez. something grooms hole at 75% it's been too easy should have seen this coming we keep missing them yeah double damage on systemless rooms Um, what do you need? You get there, you get there. You get there, you get there. There we go. And now the hole's breached as well. So they're gonna, they're gonna start leaking oxygen. Perfect, that's what I wanted. That's it, this thing is a little expensive to use. There we go. Not only are they leaking oxygen, they're also uh, on fire. Trying to escape. Don't let it happen. I'm, I, the, the plan that I'm working with here is that I'm just hoping that I can shoot through them to stop their FTL. Uh-oh. Oh, please. Oh, dear. Fuck. That was such a waste. Damn it. God damn it. <sighs> Go heal up. That's what happens, though. You just get in, you get bodied. So now we've got to go into a rebel-controlled area. Between the tax collectors and military bases, well, presence is high. Uh, while I'm here, let's switch these back around. It'll be nice to have access to it when we can, but until that comes, we're not going to be able to get at it. Uh, scattered settlements, small rebel fleets in orbit with many ships ferrying back and forth. It must be a liberated planet. Quote unquote liberated. Gonna need 50, huh? Mm. Populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a quest for a merchant shaped item. You seem reasonably equipped. Freighter carrying a shipment of goods is a week late. Fools through in a week. Flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste. And I fear for the cargo safety. Looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Is you confident for what little that's worth? Here's their last known location. Quest is very far away. 
Let's risk this. I hate going here. But let's risk it. Yep, automated rebel scout. Oh my god, they've got two drones. That has to go. Followed immediately by their FTL. The nice thing is that we got so many damn people that it's pretty hard for them to even get a word in. There we go. Now that has to go. And the engines. So they've ioned us, which I believe... Oh, wait, actually, get that down. You know, now I'm wishing that I had gotten drones because I would have been able to counter them with drones. And I've got all these drone parts right here that are doing nothing for me. Damn it! Fuck. <sighs> Rebel ship. Yeah, not having drones kind of is making me suffer. Oh, get in there, scoops. They've got so much health. Man, I was on easy street back there. I should, I absolutely should have gotten a drone. Like, it would have taken a similar amount of resources to get it to the point where I could use it like, oh man, that's not good. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is hurting me. Oh, that's not good either. Our shields are helping, but God, we can't can't get a word in. Don't have enough firepower, and they've got so much just constantly assaulting us that our shields can't stay up. Yep, there go two more shield. Wait, not there. There. Of course, I'm out of missiles too. Please, there's so many people on this boat. Hole is critical. You've got that right. I guess let's take down the drones. I should have gotten drones, man. Help me, R and Jesus. Oh man, I knew my luck had to run out. Like I've got, I've got such a good ship. I've got so many party members. I I had to just get a. God damn it! If you don't, if you deny me, the the joy of killing you, as well as all of this, you ate through like seventy percent of my hit points. Take out the engine now. Oh man, damn it! Oh, damn it. Should have gone to the store first. I could have fixed myself. Fuck. Deliver the cargo. Take the cargo, drop them off. Heavy ion. Great, more weapons. It only needs two, actually. No missiles, right? Well, let's flip this and reverse it. Oh, fuck. So they're cloaking right now, which stops us from being able to see them properly. 
And then they're hitting us Ion, which will stop our... Which is an EMP, essentially. I need to survive. I don't care if they call the fleet. I need their weapons to be down. If they die, that's a bonus. So yeah, they've just ioned our uh, sensors. Wait, you know what? Oh, that's okay. Let's get to the store. If nothing else, I'll be able to fix my ship up a little bit. Halberd beam, heavy ion, glaive beam. Wow. That's pretty great. Johnny Maloney, Elizabeth, and Elay Carlos. Karis. <sighs> I'm sad about this, but it has to go. I have to. It's too much, you know? Okay. Okay. I feel a lot better now, now that I see that. Okay. Nineteen, twenty-two, and forty. You know, the the repairs are fine. I will take that. And I'm gonna take a short break because Oh, man. <laughs> uh, and I have been recording for an hour straight. Wow. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this episode out bef with the death or victory of this crew, of the pirate killer. <sighs> yeah, this is a lot longer than I... I, I expected to die much sooner. This is legitimately one of my better attempts ever, like in history. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be back in, well, seconds for you. So, I just, uh, I checked back the recording, and I was reminded that when I started this LP, I was drunk. Well, tipsy, but you know, wow, this game sobered me up right quick. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so we're at the exit. Scanner showing intelligent life forms in a nearby planet. No match them can be found in the database. I don't care. <sighs> Rebel stronghold or Zoltan control? Um, I, I, I need some help. <laughs> You're far from Federation home space in Zoltan territory, and it's not clear whether the authorities have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. Yeah, I did not anticipate this going this well. Hmm. I'll have to make at least two stops in the nebula. Let's go here just for the sake of going there. Uh, debris filled used to be a Zoltan cruiser. The NG escort takes you to the attacker and retaliates. So they refuse all heals. Guys! Hmm. Okay. Let's take out the drones. There's been so many misplays. And they've got, what is that? A little defense turret. Let's get that drone down. I, I don't trust it one bit. All right, if it's gonna be like that, then Maybe we should focus on their weapons. See, it would be great if I could... Hmm. This has given me an idea. See, because the NG are so weak at fighting, it would be great if I could board them. But I don't have that capacity. And 
we're just we're both sitting here unable to really get through each other's shields because I don't have the firepower to do so and neither do they. But we both have so many points in their shields. Yeah, even if I hit all three, I can't get their shields down. But it doesn't look like they can either. And I keep missing them as well, so even if I could, it wouldn't matter. Naturally, I'm out of missiles, which would be the defining factor in this. Oh, this is just silly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one more salvo. Okay. Oh my god. Nope. All right, we're out of here. Later, bitch. Uh, Zoltan Research Facility. Researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. Sure. All right. That's fine. Wait, let's pause it. Okay. Let's take their shields down. And let's get a little dangerous and depower the med bay. As soon as we can. Oh, Kozer's gonna die, everyone. Help him, please. Okay. So it looks like we've got a similar problem where their firepower isn't great enough. Get swim out. Scoops, you go in. Magmar's still pretty good, as is Chris. Oh, our thing is fixed, so they're not actually hurting us. You get in there. You get in there. Okay. Let's vent that so the fire can't spread. And then, let's get dangerous. Depower this. Power this. Ion the drones. We now have access to two weapons. I hope that'll go fast enough. You get there. You get there. Actually, let's focus on shields. The shield is stunned. This is so... This is so dangerous. Oh, boy. All right, stand right in the fire. I'm gonna die here. I took a break for nothing. Oh man. This is lots and lots of bad. Yeah, this is legitimately the best attempt I've ever taken, like, in my life. Well, there we go. All right. New high score. There you go. So this got to Sector 4. This one got to Sector 7. That's... That's real good. We killed 18 ships. We explored 48 beacons. We got three six six thirty scrap. We got nine crew members, which is a new record for me. Um, Schwim survived forty seven jumps, and Emily dodged ninety nine things. 
That was astounding. But yeah, that's been an episode of Friday Night Roguelikes. I'm, um... Yeah, that's Friday Night Roguelikes. Wow. Yeah, this is a really, really good game. Which is why I'm also going to play it next weekend. Or next week, I guess. Um, because I don't want to, you know, overbloat this episode. And I do want to have, you know, more content going. So, I will see you next week for the return of FTL Faster Than Light. A first for Friday Network Likes. I will share more of my ideas and discussions about this game then. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming. I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Rogue Likes, and I've been playing FTL Faster Than Light, which I got on the Steam Summer Sale a couple of weeks ago, and I highly recommend that you do too, because it's really damn good. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's Friday Night Rogue Likes. Thanks for coming by. See you guys next week. <laughs>